Buffers and Their Ranges, brought to you by Whiteboard Science. Let's review. Remember that the purpose of a buffer is to prevent significant changes in a solution's pH in response to incoming acids or bases. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation also allows us to make many calculations concerning buffers. For more information, check out some other videos on this channel. Now it's important to recognize that buffers cannot prevent changes in pH forever. As incoming acid lowers the pH of a solution, the amount of available conjugate base decreases. And as pH increases, the amount of available conjugate acid decreases. Therefore, a buffer is most effective in the middle of its range, when the concentration of conjugate acid and base are equal. Let's do some math. If we take the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and say that the concentrations of buffering acid and base are equal, we can simplify our expression a little. And since the log of 1 is equal to 0, we find that when the concentrations of buffering acid and base are equal, the solution's pH is equal to the buffer's pKa. If you look at this on a titration curve, we see that when the solution's pH is equal to the buffer's pKa, we're right in the middle of the buffering zone, which means the buffer will be effective against both incoming acid and base. Buffer ranges are typically within one pH unit in either direction of a buffer's pKa. Let's look at why. If the pH is one unit below the pKa, then the concentration of conjugate acid is 10 times greater than the concentration of conjugate base. If the pH is one unit higher than the pKa, then the concentration of conjugate acid is 10 times less than the concentration of conjugate base. When looking at a titration curve, it is easy to see that the visible buffer range extends from a pH value one greater than the pKa to a pH value one less than the pKa. Remember that the pH of human blood averages at 7.4 and is buffered by carbonic acid, which has a pKa of 6.4. This means that carbonic acid's buffering range is from a pH of 5.4 to one of 7.4, making carbonic acid well equipped to buffer incoming acids, but not so great at buffering incoming bases. So how does our body deal with incoming base? Well, it turns out human blood has a second buffering system. The enzyme carbonic anhydrase will catalyze a reaction between carbon dioxide and water to form bicarbonate in a free proton. This means when blood pH rises, the amount of available carbon dioxide will decrease. When blood pH decreases, the amount of carbon dioxide produced will increase, which can often lead to hyperventilation. Have any questions? Post them in the comments section below to get an answer. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Good luck with studying!